Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into something super practical and useful, how to build your very own flashcard and active recall template. I walk you through the entire process step by step and by the end you'll have a fully functional flashcard system that helps you study smarter, not harder. So I just create a simple database, okay, with two properties. The name property is going to be the front of the flashcard and the second property is going to be a text property with the back, so the answer of the card. What we're going to do is to add a select property. So we create a new property for the difficulty level. Okay, so new, easy, normal, hard. Then we add the new property that is going to be a checkbox. And this is going to help us reveal uh, certain uh, information okay, when we check this uh, box. So let's call that reveal. And I also like to change this to be an eye because I'm, I'm, I like that. And I can also do this to just um, shrink that to be to only show this. So let's create the uh, actually formula for that. And it's going to be reveal answer. So how that works. So basically what we want to do is when we click this, this is going to show the back of the card. And if it's not check, it's not going to show anything. So the formula is actually pretty simple. We create an if statement. So if reveal, if reveal to so the checkbox property is equal true. And basically true means that this is checked. Okay, comma. So if that is true, do something. And basically is reveal something inside this property. What we want to reveal is the back of the card. So we're going to just add the back of the card. But then we need to have another statement. And basically is if that is true, show that. If it's not true, so comma, show what? We need to show like nothing. This is basically how the uh, flashcard system work in Notion. The formula is pretty uh, easy, actually. So what we're going to do now is to create another property, a okay? uh, and going to be um, the status property. So we can um, have certain card to be on draft, okay, and waiting. Uh, some of them will be working on it. We are actually trying to learn this card. And then when we, we have done, we can just archive and set that to be done. So now let's create a new view. So let's just go duplicate. And we're going to um, select the board view. This is the better view to the you use the flashcard system, actually. And um, for the grouping, we actually want to group that by difficulty level. Okay. And we also want to color our column. So the, so we have our view. So what we want to do is basically rearrange that to make more sense. So we're going to go to the board, to the grouping, and you see that we can rearrange. So I want new here, easy, normal, hard. Okay, that makes sense. And another thing that I need to do is to reveal some property. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to reveal the all the property except the the back that is going to be the answer if we click here it's going to reveal that it's going to reveal our answer so we also want to add a filter to only show the active card so the status is going to be in progress okay and let's call that active okay let's move that and duplicate to create a new a new view that is going to be archive or done whatever you want and change the filtering to be done. So what if we want to add a active recall system to that? So it's very easy actually to do. So what we're going to do is to get back to here and create two property. One is going to be a date and just call that a last review and also add a new property. There is going to be the select and it's going to be comprehension. Okay, let's add three level. Now let's create a new formula. Okay. This is going to tell us the next review date based on the last review and the comprehension level of the card. So let's create a formula, next review. And we're going to add this formula. So just explain a bit of formula. It's like 
is an if statement. They say if the comprehension level is poor, uh, take the last review date and add one day. If it's good, add two days. If it's uh, great, add three days. So we now have this on this is going to create a new date for us of when we need to review this card again. So let's create the calendar view. Just um, add some filtering, like the status need to be in progress. And we're going to show some properties. But what we want to do is actually to see the next review to have Notion tell us when we need to review this card. So let's rename that um, active recall or space repetition. Active recall. Active recall. Go to the setting, and what we need to do is just show change how the calendar shows. So basically, this is going to show calendar instead of the last review. This is going to be the date that we can change. Uh, we can show the calendar by the date that the formula populate, right? So we switch to that, and you see that it's going to just move that everything because this is right now is not the date that we review the car but it's the the next date that we need to review the car okay so you're going to see that we have our flash car active recall system in place we can see when we need to review some card and so basically what you're going to do so let's open up so the first thing that we want to do inside that is to hide this because we don't want to give away the answer right we want the answer to be revealed like this okay so when we have done um, uh, work on a certain uh, flashcard, we can just change that, uh, update the last review to be the current date. So if you're going to see that it's move, you see it's move, and it's move based on the comprehension level, okay? And this is basically how you create a simple flashcard and active recall system in Notion.